So I've been spending a lot of time on Tumblr. It's like crack. Even though I love the new crack that I found, I'm continuously searching for better crack, and I'm never quite satisfied. And yet another side that I can't quite explain without going into a 10 minute explanation about every single little detail. You can usually post a lot of pictures, a lot of people like to post pictures, you can ask follow questions. you. When they click on your profile, there's going to be a little plus and button. Then, there's right. also the like button, which and is a little all heart. sorts of different tumblers. There's some for Big Bang Theory, for Marvel. The fame goes to their head on Tumblr because they're not really famous. Not like YouTube. And with the semester over, I found a lot of time to enjoy the little things that I never had a chance to do. We mean I go to bed at night. I found myself being able to notice the little details that I would have been oblivious to. Oh my god, 314 backwards is pi. Who'd have known? During my teens and young adult life, I fell in love with the franchise of the love books. And while you might expect me to say that these books were about a boy wizard, um, I'm going in a completely different path. My beloved books were about hobbits, elves, human, wizards, and dwarves all going on a journey to destroy a ring. Just in case you're stupid, I'm referring, of course, to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And just in case you're really stupid, those were the DVDs. The Lord of the Rings were probably one of my first geeky obsessions. And the reason I'm doing a vlog about them today is because December 10th, 2001 was the premiere of the first Lord of the Rings in the UK. My journey with the Lord of the Rings started a little bit more down the line. I can vividly remember the commercial for the Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, because the ring wraith scared the crap out of me. They just looked terrifying in the trailer, so I refrained from actually seeing this movie. Luckily, when it came out on DVD, we went out and rented it. I ultimately suffered a nerdgasm unlike any nerdgasm I had experienced before. Holy crap, it was good. I watched the whole movie and fell in love with it, but my particular favorite scenes were probably the Shire and the Hobbits themselves. There's just something cute and innocent about them, plus I kind of have a little crush on Elijah Wood. One of the things I remember the most about The Lord of the Rings when we rented the DVD was I watched the ending about 12 times in a row. It was just such a heartbreaking scene that I had to watch it over and over and over again. Of course, when the DVD had to go back, I needed to find out more. So as soon as I saved up enough money, I went to my local bookstore and bought The Fellowship of the Ring. Of course, that wasn't the end of my journey. I went to go see The Two Towers in theaters. I went to go see Return of the King at the midnight showing. I even went to Toronto to see The Two Towers exhibition. I was obsessed. And it drove my parents nuts. I had posters and action figures and magazines. Plus, you couldn't get me just the regular edition of Lord of the Rings. You had to get me the limited edition. So I have both the regular edition and limited edition every single movie. And now looking back, I can't believe it's been 10 years. Holy crap, I'm old. So on today, December the 10th, 2011, I just wanted to say happy 10th anniversary to the Lord of the Rings franchise. These are probably my first geeky fandom, so I want to know 10 years ago, what were you into? So now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go rewatch the trailer on YouTube, and I'm going to go watch these 10-year-old DVDs. Keep knowing it up, Cupcake Army. See ya.